Hello, it's Felicity here again today with another Shimmers Design Team layout. Okay, what I'm doing here is these flowers are leftovers from my previous Shimmers process video that I made with some pasties and some colorings. Now I wanted to use these on my project here. I thought they matched in really well with this Easter themed photo of my children from last year. Now what I'm doing is starting off with my background with some of the new Aquatones. Now the Aquatones is a self priming paint so I actually didn't even apply any gesso to my background. I mixed a little bit of it with some of the colorings and because I knew that the page wasn't going to be too wet, I knew that it wouldn't warp. So I didn't feel that I needed to add any gesso to my background. Now what I'm doing is coming in with some of the inklings. Oh, sorry, the aqua hues. What am I talking about? <laughs> These are the, the watercolors from Shimmers, which actually use a lot of, I'm just using a lot of water here and applying it with, the packaging technique. When you actually get your aqua hues, they actually come dry like a really hard block, I guess. So all you need to do is just spray in some water, leave it for a little while, come back and they're good to use. So if you open the aqua hues and they're dry, that is perfectly normal. So now what I'm doing is also using the water brush that you actually can get with the Aqua Hues if you choose a set of 10. Now this circle is also some leftovers from my previous process shimmers video. I don't like to waste too much product. So what I actually did here was this was left over from when I mixed up my Aqua Tones and I just put it down onto a piece of white card. Now I felt that the page was probably going, or the purple was going to probably be a little bit too bright. So I came over the top with the white Aquatones called Three Sheets to the Wind. Then while it was still wet, I actually popped my paper towel down and pushed down on it and you could see there before the texture that I actually got and it felt even amazing. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is starting to build up now my layers and my embellishments for my photo. I tried to keep this page um, with pastel tones because I just felt that the pastel tones suited an Easter themed page. I just love this photo of my three children together. It was actually Noni's first Easter there. So I had to document last year's Easter before this Easter comes. I'm actually using here the Crepe Paper Cute Girl embellishments to embellish. And I know sometimes when we get different collections, we think that it's only suited for a certain theme or certain photos or, or whatever it may be but for this um, Easter project I actually found a lot of embellishments in this cute girl collection that actually went with my Easter photo and went with my Shimmers products and there was plenty there that I still could have used like that little ice cream you can see to the left like that would have suited this Easter page quite well um, maybe because here where I live, we seem to always have it warm, I guess. We don't have a lot of cold or cool months. It does cool down a little bit in winter here, but only for a few weeks. So the ice cream still would have been fitting for it. But you can see here too that when I actually apply my stickers or my chipboard pieces, I always back them on white cardstock because I actually move things around a lot. So if I've got them backed on white cardstock, get that out, <laughs> I can freely move them around. I can add a 3D dot underneath them. I guess I'm just one of those 
those scrappers that likes to lay everything down first before I actually commit to sticking it down. I know it's time consuming and I've tried to just stick as I go in it. I just don't end up liking what I do. I enjoy the process of fiddling around and moving bits and pieces around on the page before I commit to it. You can see that little purple brown circle that's left over with my shimmers. I'm going to pop underneath the photo there and up to the top there you can see I've placed the rectangle um, piece of paper that has the um, aqua tones and the purple and the edgy eggplant. I actually end up using that up the top of my page on the left and turn the white cardstock over so that you can see it poking out the top. It just carries that purple through. It's not too bright but it also picks up the purple in the flower that I've also got there near the photo on the left. You see I'm still fiddling and, and like that little cute little bunny rabbit there on the left, that was in the cute girl collection too and it couldn't be more perfect for an Easter page. So when you get a collection, don't limit yourself to a certain theme or a certain person, I guess you could say, male, female, girly, boy, because it just doesn't have to be like that. Now these chipboard alphas, I believe, now I'm, I'm going back I think 12 months, 18 months perhaps, a bit longer. I believe they came in a hip, a hip kit club, Christmas kit perhaps, correct me if I'm wrong somebody, but they just seem to match in perfectly as well with my page. So you've got a cute, uh, you know, a girly collection, I guess, along with a little bit of Christmas mixed into an Easter page. So, yeah, just another reason why you can't limit yourself. So you can see up the top there that where I popped that little purple rectangle there peeping out. All these uh, Shimmers products that I've used on my flowers and in my background, you can find them all in the paint store. But if you do have any questions at all, just let me know because I do experiment a lot with these products. You won't necessarily see my experimenting in a process video because generally it's when I've got two seconds to quickly do something perhaps before I do the school bus run or before I whiz to bed. So if you do have any questions, please just sing out and I'll try and help you. Make sure you also subscribe over to the Shimmers Paints YouTube channel because they have a lot of process videos there that can help you understand and show you different ways that you can experiment with your Shimmers products. The Shimmers shorts that are up there every week by Missy are a really great way to, to help you get, I guess, understanding and just to see how she experiments with the products as well. Now what I've decided to do with that purple circle is to pop some hand stitching around the edge of it just to give it a little bit of that whimsical feel that I find that I've got going on here. I very rarely complete a page without some form of hand or machine stitching. Hand stitching seems to be a trend at the moment but Hand stitching is just something I really enjoy to do. Back in my younger days, I used to spend a lot of weekends cross stitching. So it's good to bring a little bit of those cross stitching skills into my pages. I'm just adding more foam dots to bring the elements of the page. It won't look so flat. Oh, that's right. I lost my foam dots. Couldn't find it. Where was it? Underneath the page. Oh, dearie me. You can see that little journal um, stamp, I guess, that I put onto white cardstock. I've actually had that for years and years and years. I mean, I'm talking probably maybe seven or eight years. I, I have no idea where it's from, who made it, I couldn't even tell you. 
but I just love the stamp and use it quite a bit on my pages. Journaling was something that I wanted to incorporate more of this year in my in my projects. I think it's because my children seem to be spending more and more time looking at their album, their albums, asking a lot of questions and when this photo was taken and what did we do here and how did it come about and you know all the questions children ask. So if I've got the journaling, it just helps me to remember those things and answer the questions from the children. Now I did try to not back my page this time lately. I find myself backing my page on patterned paper. And this time I really tried hard not to, so you'll see at the end instead I decide to machine stitch around the edge of the page just to bring it through or flow together as well. And then you can see the little tag at the top of the photo. I actually decide to pop some twine in it. I just didn't feel that that tag was complete until I popped some twine in it. But I did really like how this page turned out and was so thankful, I guess, that I got those flowers to work there on my page that I'd made as well. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well if you're enjoying my videos. I'll leave all the links for my blog, The Shimmers Paint Store and The Shimmers Blog in the comments section as well. And lastly, I'm just popping in some muslin wrap. I like to add in as much or fibres, I guess you would call it, as I can. And muslin's just something I've been using for quite some time. I always pop it in, I guess, towards the end of the page when I feel that it needs a little bit more texture. As you can see here, I just use my fingers to pull it apart. So now I'm just adhering the muslin wrap down. And that pretty much nearly brings my page finished. And there we have it, lots of dimension. And you can see there too that I've also added lots of enamel dots there to, and paint splatters at the end as well. I just felt there was probably a little bit too much white space for me. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to mention my name in the comment section when you purchase your Shimmers products so that you can receive your free product. Thank you.